Hello, hello everyone, and welcome to another episode of Ship Fuse with me, Carburetor. I don't know if you can tell, but it is I just woke up pretty early morning for me. So yeah, if I slur any words, make any mistakes, <laughs> uh give give sleepy carburetor a break. But anyway, I figured I would talk about this. The dockyard event came out. I would say regardless, regardless of any negativity I say in this video, I still recommend buying this full tilt so a couple of things to talk about first they've upgraded it or the not upgraded it but they've upped it from three phases that you need to buy to five phases now this is a little bit more expensive it went from i believe thirty nine hundred dollars or thirty nine hundred doubloons to fifty five hundred doubloons i would still recommend getting it but personally i think that this is ridiculous of wargaming just because of the fact that by upping it, I, I think what was happening is too many people were getting it. And because too many people were getting it, they were kind of like, either we can sell more, we can still sell the same and get more money, or we'll sell a little bit less, but we'll still make more money. And to me, that's kind of BS, that's kind of stupid, that's kind of ridiculous, but, you know, if they have the demand, they have the demand. I'm not going to deny them that, and it's still a great deal. So let's look at the lineup here right quick. You can see, I think it's, I think the blue progress bar there is building. I don't know. But anyway, so they're going to give us the Dreadnought here. They're going to give us the Repulse here, which I've seen several reviews about the Repulse. If you uh, if you want to hear more about that, I'd recommend looking at uh, Sea Lord Mountain Batten's video and a couple of the others, including No Zoo For You's video. Uh, they, I believe they both covered that. And the Marblo, that's the one that I'm going for because it's a tier 9, and it actually looks like a fun ship. As you can see there, it is a continuation of the Vanguard and King George V class ships. It has uh, 16 356mm guns, which is going to be a little bit weaker than any other real tier 9 ship. I don't think there are any tier 9 battleships with less than 380mm guns. So, and the only one with 380mm that I can think of is the Pomern. That is, and the guns are her weak suit. Like, that is her, that, it really hurts her. But what comes back from here is the 16 guns. Having those 16 guns with half a level of accuracy is going to be really, really fun. But the main reason why I want to talk about why you need to buy this bundle regardless is because of the awards. You would get 10,000 coal. You would get a Santa's Mega Gift Container. You get 4,000 research points, which for those of you guys who are into the research bureau like myself, that's a big deal. Steel, 2,000 steel. I hope you realize just what this means. 2,000 steel, if they were selling crates, that you could get a chance of getting 2,000 steel in each crate was 5,000 doubloons. People would buy it. Steel is a huge deal. Huge deal. And many professionals, or not professionals, but hardcore gamers so for 5500 doubloons you get the coal you get the container you get the research points you get the steel and you get a tier 9 premium ship what's there to lose really i mean it's it's a really good deal i'm disappointed that they did what they did but it looks like that they're making up for it because the 2000 steel is an upgrade from the 1000 steel they normally give so I definitely, definitely, definitely say get it. Let's look at the uh, at the missions right quick. I'm on this game pretty much daily. I've been falling off of it a little bit. Hopefully this might be able to hook me back in. I can play some more. Hurting a little bit for credits, so uh, ignore my diminutive uh, stats up there. Do, 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 do. Let's go to dockyard. So. To get one shipbuilding phase, you have to complete, help your team cause 7,200 damage upon your spawning. That's easy. That's a battle. Spot 70 torpedoes. Even if you're only spotting, let's say, 7 torpedoes a battle, which I typically spot like 10, you're still spotting, that's still 10 games. 10 games, I can knock that out in 2 days. Earn 7,200 commander XP. I'm earning about 3,000 commander XP in a battle, so... And that, that's without any flags on. So you can probably complete that in 
in 20 battles. However, I'm all with all the flags on. I'm earning like 10,000 commander XP a battle, so I can compete the, complete this in basically seven. Earn 1,700 base XP. This is going to be a little bit more difficult because the average player has an average base XP of about a thousand. So this will be about 17 battles. But you imagine, even if you're only playing, let's say, three battles a day. You can still knock that out in five days, five, six days. That's not that bad. It's 715 ribbons. That's easy. It needs to be in a destroyer, obviously, but that's pretty easy. Cruiser ribbons, just, uh, battleship ribbons, and aircraft carrier ribbons. And then in one battle, get three destroyed ribbons, and you'll get this. You don't need to complete all of these. But getting in one battle, getting three destroyed ribbons, if you play enough like I do, eventually you'll just get lucky and get it. And I can go through all of these, but essentially you'll get this. You'll get these just from playing the game. You really will. So just by playing the game, you'll get a tier three ship, which is probably junk and should probably be thrown away. You'll get the tier six repulse, which people have been talking about and sounds like a really good ship. And you'll get the Marlboro if you cough up the 5,500 doubloons. So, so far, this is looking really, really good. And they got some other really cool prizes in there. I recommend going in and checking that out. But I would definitely, definitely, definitely recommend getting it. Um, anyway, also, the uh, Dockyard event, or not the Dockyard, but the, um, the Santa's Big Gift is out. Let's actually take a look at that right quick. Just puff up this video a little bit, you know. Get that right quick. Thousand free coal. I'm not going to turn that down. Looks like we got the Baron out. I'm probably not going to get it because I'm not a CV main. Who knows? I might end up picking it up anyway, but that's beside the point. I'm trying to see where I redeem my... Might as well purchase that while I'm here. Oh, I'm not going to... I, I think this is really stupid. With the super ships, you don't get paid for, for using them. So what's the point? Okay, so you still can't... You still can't unlock the... I thought this was 10.11. I don't see where you can... I don't see where you can get the... Uh, to do. I don't see where you can get the... Where you can redeem the... Uh, Oh, I'm losing my train of thought. Come on, Carburetor, focus. The New Year the New Year certificates, I don't see where you can redeem them. So they must not have put that in yet. That's that's a little bit silly. I don't know what's going on with that. But anyway, I did want to show this off right quick. Look at this beauty I got. Uh oh, I've been save I've been working for her, got her. She's in my port finally. I threw Gunther Luchens on her, but I'm probably gonna end up having to put a custom commander on her. Just because of the fact that she does take a little bit of a different build. Uh, I'm probably going to leave the Kerr first for the new tier uh, tier 10 mainline battleship, the Prussian. So I'm probably going to end up throwing Albert Eb Eberhard on her and re-spec her and get this guy fully specced out also. I thought I had the fur to grow. I don't know why I don't. But anyway... Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Expect another video out either today or tomorrow about Railroads Online. Uh, I believe episode 3 or 4 is coming out. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed. Take care, stay safe, and I will see you all next time.